Ladies and gentlemen, William Wallace is finally here on the Wheel of Fortune. Finally, a commander that I can spin the wheel for and feel good about. It has literally been eight months since I have spun a Wheel of Fortune and felt like I was getting good value. So today we're going to be spinning the wheel 100 times and we're going to be seeing how many sculptures can we possibly get? Is it true that YouTubers have better luck? Because truthfully, I feel like that is not the case, but we're going to find out today. But first, what's going on guys? Cheers. Got to break out the mega whale mug. Okay. If we're spending this many gems, we're, we're being a mega whale. Now, keen observers will notice that I only have 25,000 gems, which means I'm going to have to open my wallet to complete this video which means hopefully you will drop a thumbs up on it because I typically don't do that for videos so a, fr a free thumbs up would be amazing and also maybe possibly consider um it, will you please subscribe to me please oh that was cringe anyway let's use our free spin and get the eight spot right away because I'm a giga Chad and let's do it for the suspense we'll wait for the animation ladies and gentlemen there they okay well you know we didn't get the eight spot but we got one uh which is better than zero so we are 10 percent of the way to summoning him let's do a 400 gem half off spin and we'll get a second one i'm actually liking this we are two two and oh we have a 100 william wallace success rate if i stop the video right now i could literally make the title something insanely clickbait like i spun the wheel of fortune and got william wallace 100 of the time or something insane like that but then of course it doesn't matter because i can't summon him with only two sculptures so let's do a five spot and get our hands on some gold ladies and gentlemen we'll get the one the one sculpture we'll take that and what else do we get another sculpture off to a pretty good start here a third sculpture thank you very much and a legendary commander sculpture okay so like we're actually like six for seven here that's pretty sick i'm gonna take that for sure that's awesome okay six legendary commander sculptures out of seven spins is like amazing let's go ahead and do another five spot lock in the summon right there we're gonna get the summon guaranteed now because of that five spot reward and we get a single sculpture here and we get some research speeders speed ups speed ups speed herbs literally the most useless thing on the wheel here is a research speed ups for me uh, but we do get a second universal legendary commander sculpture which i will definitely take and bada bing bada boom ladies and gentlemen we have got our five william wallace sculptures so okay so far somebody keep track of this in the comment section below but so far we've gotten 11 sculptures of william wallace and two universal legendary commander sculptures so keep keep that keep track of that i'm curious to know how many of these i'm actually going to get in this video to see if i get good gem value per sculpture okay let's go ahead and do our summon and there we go ladies and gentlemen william wallace was a scottish knight and nobleman who served as wait is that scottish or some hybrid of australian i don't know who served as the leader of the scottish forces in the early parts of the first scottish war of independence in 1296 the kingdom of scotland was invaded and occupied by king edward the first of england is that banana helmet or am i stupid i don't i don't know uh, shortly thereafter along with other like-minded rebels wallace launched a campaign of resistance more and more scottish nobles flocked to his cause culminating in september 1297 at the battle of Stirling Bridge, where he won a major victory against the English. He was appointed sole guardian of Scotland, essentially a regent, and remained as such until 1298, when he was defeated at the Battle of Falkirk. He was captured by the English in 1305 and taken to London. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Where he was convicted of treason for his defiance. Edward the First, Edward the First, and ordered Wallace to be gruesome. Oh, hang on, hang on. For his defiance, Edward the First and ordered Wallace Lilith Edward I and ordered Wallace my brain is breaking at this what is happening to be gruesomely tortured and beheaded the Scottish struggle for freedom did not end with William Wallace's death and through steel and blood they would go on to win their independence from England some 20 years later for his heroic spirits and being one of the first to rise against the English Wallace gained worldwide fame and became an icon of Scottish independence I used every single accent I had there uh to to well anyway what i'm curious about i know this is a video about the uh wheel of fortune but what, what's going on here do we got a cooldown you gotta just how do you not tell me what the cooldown is you're telling me that you're you're literally telling me that this is aoe and no cooldown is that what you're trying to say there's probably a hidden cooldown i'm sure by the time you watch this video some other youtuber probably already posted a video about it i'll have to go and double check that and maybe i'll put it in the edit if i 
uh see it but yeah here it is the smite talent tree ladies and gentlemen awesome not every day you get a brand new talent tree oh yes dude our first bundle purchase of the video so hopefully you dropped a thumbs up on it go ahead and redeem all these gems we're gonna need that for the dang wheel five more spins let's see what we can get here let's get some good old value ladies and gentlemen we'll get some gold we'll get some building speed ups we don't need building speed ups and we'll get the golden star okay and we'll get the ew building speed ups grow okay we'll take a william wallace that was horrible gem value that was a terrible spin i literally don't need anything here besides the gold and the sculpture so uh okay that's no bueno let me go ahead and do another five spin here we'll see what we get uh we will get our hands on some corn yes dude we'll get some corn and we'll get some more building speed ups literally not not good literally a not good thing uh more trash literal garbage lilith what are you doing it's it's almost like they were like okay well you got the summon now you don't need any more sculptures of them right and that's like true i don't actually need more but like it'd be nice if i could have more because like you're giving me speed ups like if i'm gonna get anything at least give me the resources like not the stone come on and not the brother you're you're killing me you're killing me smalls you're killing me smalls what do you bro what is that what is that are you serious five five spins i got zero sculptures um excuse me last time i checked there's a 25 percent chance of getting william wallace and another eight percent chance of a legendary commander sculpture so you're telling me in five spins i got zero how dare you how dare you defy probabilities like that that's horrible but we did get a five universal sculpture uh reward there for our 25th spin let's do another five spin here we are so low on, on gems that's actually super depressing Let's go ahead and do another spin we get william wallace again uh we get our hands on some corn and we'll get our hands on some useless trash and we'll get our hands on some more garbage and so this is not going well for me actually i'm feeling quite depressed and as a matter of fact i'm so low on gems uh and i want to cry and so we're gonna get wood woody okay uh yes dude let's go okay okay that's actually big that's actually big that makes up for a lot of the trash we've been getting lately except for that that was not good why'd you give me research speed ups but i got nine okay so the nine feels good i feel like we didn't get many for the last like two five spins so okay okay we'll do it well oh, oh what i spent that many gems in that already excuse me this is the least amount of gems i've had in like a decade like what are what okay at least we can add another skill to him so that's gonna be level two for the active skill which looks really good they didn't change anything here right they didn't no okay we're good okay so i bought some flux scripts and everybody knows i don't like spending money on armaments or crystal tech if i don't have to so in this case i'm gonna be getting the geared up bundle and it looks like i can buy all which is definitely going to be the strategy and let's do that and there we go we have maxed out the geared up bundle and what do we get from our golden chest five gold keys ladies and gentlemen an absolute clutch acquisition right there we love golden keys and we have 27 crystal keys let's just pop that open for the video do we get anything orange got literally garbage we got actual trash from that what why why would you do this to me okay if you guys have never bought the geared up bundle all the way this is all the tiers and you can only buy it one one of the max tier by the way in case you were curious there we've actually maxed it out you can't buy that last one three times okay I know it's sad you gotta wait for the golden egg event to do it which for some reason it's the identical bundle but anyway let's do another five spin here we'll see what we get here we'll get our hands on another eight spot perhaps no we're gonna get some gold stars okay we love that except I don't need any of them thank you for the William Wallace to make up for it I'll take another one or you'll give me training speed ups that is not what I wanted but I will take the universal which is very nice and we will take another William Wallace which is three sculptures out of a five spin which we'll definitely take that is a good good trade i would say uh three i would say is above average two i would say is slightly below average for a five spin uh which means the average is somewhere in between the two which is not real but that's the average is is possible it's not possible to get two and a half right from a five spin but i would say if you average it out it's probably about like that anyway let's go ahead and claim our 45 spin reward and there's our 10 sculptures of our red-headed boy and we're gonna do another five spin here ladies and gentlemen let's see if we can get our hands on uh more of these eight spots would be nice that would be pretty sweet okay uh in theory if if youtubers get a special a treatment then surely I should be able to get another eight spot here all willy-nilly uh and instead I got below average uh rewards here which is unfortunate love that for me though am I right okay uh let's get the eight spot baby let's go yes oh my god I love gambling I love gambling so much it's so sick um there we go we got another single sculpture of uh William our boy Willie and uh we just popped off right there ladies and gentlemen we just got a good 10 sculptures 
out of a five spin and so the lesson that you can learn and kids come closer and pay attention the lesson you can learn is that always gamble always gamble right because you could eventually get 10 sculptures of a fictional character which is amazing so let's go and get another single sculpture there and we'll see if we can get maybe another eight spot here perhaps mm, perhaps milady can we get another uh eight spot we can and and no we won't we'll get some stars which we like uh for no reasons there's no reasons for me to like those if you're a new player the stars are great uh but for an older player they are not because i've got plenty of those but we can put another sculpture on our boy willy uh which is sick so let's go ahead and do that well boom there we go oh we got we had two more that's amazing well 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 if omni York isn't a little liar if he's not a little stinker okay it looks like we had one more up a bundle for the uh crystal research center so I will be spending a little bit on crystal tech here in the video even though I literally just said I don't like doing that looks like I'm a fibber today I, I fibbed you guys but now we've got some more gems so I'll take it and three million crystals I gotta like get the crystals so that way we can pop off okay so the first skills at four already uh which means we now have to uh, as you can see here uh, 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 you can see right here um we are at reset right now we've used all of our spins which means through the power of video editing I'm going to have to jump to the future uh literally 20 three and a half hours from now to finish this video because I can't get the hundred spin thing until then but if you made it this far then you're probably about at the halfway mark or maybe a little bit farther which means you definitely should have dropped a thumbs up already and let's go ahead and skip to the rest of the spins okay I hope you enjoyed your time travel so it's the next day and I have a surprise for everybody because today we're gonna be crafting the ancestral mask of night the kvk helmet for archers ladies and gentlemen watch this we're gonna get the special talent ladies and gentlemen check that okay that's a little bit anticlimactic check this out we're gonna get the special talent let's go oh, no Fuck, dude that drives me crazy I'm well at least archers have uh Full legendary stuff now it's not it's not perfect I wish I had the kvk weapon but you know let's go ahead and spin the wheel our free time today let's get an eight spot off rip you were so close you were so close how could you just skip right over it like that are you kidding me are you freaking kidding me man what is going on here let's go ahead and get a half off wood pile we love to see a half off wood pile okay let's go ahead and do our first five spin of today uh we've done plenty in this video we got stars which we do not need we did get a William Wallace we'll take the William Wallace I love to see that more stars is a joke and wood I'm sorry that's not wood that's stone that is literally bricks that is bricked up uh we don't need we don't need these things really um I mean stone I guess but like yeah that was a lot of hot garbage if I'm being honest with you guys lots of trash on that one there Bo I thought we were gonna get some good but it turns out we got some not good so that's not hey let's go baby let's go all right we got the eight spot on the okay all right I'm feeling good about this this is actually not this is actually turning out pretty good I think we got like what three eight spots in this video I feel like that's actually pretty good luck okay I, I feel like that's that's crazy I'm probably gonna still be uh clickbait in the title and thumbnail to be honest with you guys but you know who knows we'll see what happens let's go ahead and continue with the five spins can we get another eight spot can we play I was hoping that I would get wrecked in this video that way I could be like look youtubers have bad bad luck too because like a lot of times I do when I spin the wheel um but uh, I'm getting the eight spot quite a bit here so uh that was also trash if we're being real that was Garbo that was Garbo I mean literally like three of these are garbage to me like what are you doing Lilith stop it don't you want me to have a lot of William Wallace sculptures clearly not because you're giving me trash you're giving me oh let's go oh baby okay just kidding I'm just kidding Lilith I appreciate that that's so sick that's awesome man I cannot believe that really just happened let's go baby oh my goodness all right let's keep it spinning we're going we're going all the way to the hundo we're oh I thought it was gonna hit the eight again I was about to lose my dang mind I thought oh man I got like a headache from yelling uh, and I feel like I I just can't I can't handle another eight spot so please wh whatever you do Lilith don't give me another eight spot <laughs> that would be crazy am I right like oh my god <laughs> don't give it to me that'd be I'd be so sad about yelling and my voice would hurt so like please don't okay well we're getting this we're getting the singles here which is nice there we go three in a row baby I'll take that heck yeah all right we got the stars but it's fine we got four out of five dude I will take that's above average for sure 
that is above average for show sure. we're gonna go ahead and do another five spin that's gonna be probably the last five spin of the video actually because we are one away uh from our 100 spin reward we got a universal right there which we love to see we love the universals we got another one we got another one we dj Khaled did that universal right there and uh we got a couple of garbage pieces up here but we got some good stuff down here so we'll take that and bada bing bada boom we're gonna go ahead and spin that uh and we gonna get the one hundo reward i literally just threw 800 gems in the trash that's what that was you just watched me take 800 gems throw it in the garbage because this is actual garbage lilith why are, is there still research speed ups on the wheel hello seriously make it universal stop it this is actually just a scam okay let's go ahead and open the 100 spin reward here 15 sculptures of our boy and i can't get that swirly crisis little red dot to go away which is driving me mad okay since yesterday we have gotten him to level 60 because i did want to mess around with the talent builds a little bit uh let's go ahead and drop some sculptures into young man right here young uh young redhead young redheaded child let's go ahead and do that but a being oh 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 I don't have enough okay so let's take a look here really quick before we do anything I'm curious we got 50 sculptures of William Wallace and as far as universals go you guys maybe you kept track while you're watching I don't know I assume I got maybe five maybe a little bit more than that in terms of universals so that's pretty good I would say oh plus I got 15 from this as well right so let's say I got 20 universal commander sculptures from this wheel again you can tell me the exact number down below but like all in all if I got 70 right like let's say I got 50 of William Wallace and 20 of the universals that's 70 I spent I think 70,000 gems something like that so I got about a thousand gems per sculpture maybe I'm completely off you can you can let me know in the comment section below but anyway normally uh I would wait till tomorrow to max him out out because I still will have a free spin and a half off spin where I could possibly get some more sculptures and squeeze a little bit more value out of the wheel however half seven is literally going to start in an hour and a half we're going to start grouping up which means your boy wants to be using his brand new toy and that is uh William Wallace so let's go ahead and max out William Wallace we have 1745 sculptures I think we've got a couple of sculptures that we can spare so let's go ahead and do it ladies and gentlemen all right so let's go ahead and just add these sculptures over here it's literally lit we are maxing a commander it's not every day this is a big day this is a big day boys it's not every day that you get to max a legendary commander in rise of kingdoms it always feels good when this moment comes around i've been playing this game for literally years now over almost six years I've been playing rise of kingdoms and uh it still feels good to max out a legendary commander so i'm really excited to be doing this again with you guys on the channel and uh i will say you know for those of you that have been asking i know there's been a lot of sort of early test results coming out with william wallace and whatnot we had the chinese servers testing him as well um i will say that for william wallace specifically um is he a must-have commander i don't know if he is a must-have commander obviously i have passed seven right now so i will be using him a ton and i'll let you guys know how i feel like he does over the next couple of days of fighting however i think that william wallace as a primary with liu che is probably going to be the best performing infantry pairing however how much better compared to liu che alex or uh cpo liu che how much better is he going to perform that's the real question right because if he's a he's five percent better is it worth 690 sculptures probably not if he's 10 percent better is it worth 690 mm, I don't know right uh also it's worth noting that a lot of people are feeling like this expertise is not that great right dispelling slow effects uh and giving a shield this shield is not very like this looks really good it's not that good guys a uh, thousand uh, damage factor shield now it does stack with other shields which is nice because it is a mighty shield however it's a 10 second cooldown which is insane and it'll probably break in one turn maybe two so really you're talking about like not taking one normal attack maybe maybe one and a half normal attacks something like that so all in all the expertise isn't insane it's not like a must have i don't think especially because the cooldown is so long so if you wanted to budget build him would you do like a five 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 one something like that i mean with this at one you still get a five percent smite damage bonus with the other two percent for normal damage right so i mean like it's it's pretty nice however the third skill does have a 10 second cooldown so maybe you would you would try to do like a five five one five possibly I'm really not sure honestly off the top of my head like literally I just expertise them you watch me do that so I can't say which of these two skills would be better off the top of my head as far as talents go however uh this is the talent build that I'm going to be using in the open field so I'm going to be doing Liu Che secondary to my William Wallace I came all the way up here to grab a thunderous smite and I completely skipped these two talents off on the left and right here not really sure what Lilith was thinking with these I mean I guess the fact that they're out of the way is nice because then you don't have to waste points on them but like the downside of pack a punch seems really high and to the bitter end just seems like you know you're unless you have a specific fighting style 
where you're always going all in then you're probably not going to get the maximum value out of that anyway so this is what we're working with in the infantry tree you'll notice here that i did grab all of the march speed because i find that really important you also notice that we did not grab strong or hold the line sorry i almost said strong body hold the line here because my thought process was like really you have to ask yourself do you want hold the line or do you want thunderous smite because you can't get both right if we do something like this you could get this hold the line and you could still get the march speed but then you don't get thunderous smite now you look at thunderous smite and you say okay well this is all it's a one in three chance occurring a little less than that one in three chance of it occurring and it's only for smite a smite damage shot and it's 10 percent whereas this will reduce damage taken by up to 20 percent for two seconds but it does have a three second cooldown and it's when you are hit okay and so my thought process here and again I could be wrong this might not be the best build but this is what I'm going to be using for this past uh seven the reason that I went for thunder smite over hold the line is because hold the line only procs when you are hit okay it's when you are hit with a basic attack you have a 10 percent chance to take 20 percent less damage and so if you are playing effectively and you're going in and out of combat right a lot of times you're not going to be taking that many basic attacks now ultimately you will eventually take some basic attacks of course right like there's no way around that if you're actually openly fighting but a lot of times if you are overextending in one or two of your marches do get targeted well i'm running five so that means that there's a chance that the william wallace isn't the one that's targeted anyway especially if the enemy is playing in dot mode and then also i typically you know try to back up back into my own allied ball and hopefully get the aggro off of my marches right and so in those scenarios i feel like for open field fighting maybe hold the line isn't as important as as thunderous smite where like every third smite shot is going to be 10 percent stronger and we have a lot of smite damage on the william wallace liu che combo i mean this is a massive damage factor here we also have of course the massive damage factor on liu che now a couple of early reports that i'm hearing and again i'm going to be playing with william wallace over the next couple of days so we'll see what i actually discover but i am hearing a few things first of all i'm hearing that the 40 percent increase to smite damage is damage dealt to a single target okay so what I mean by this is Liu Che hits five targets. Only one of them, from what I'm hearing, this is early reports, from what I'm hearing, only one of them will take the 40% increased smite damage shot, and that will activate the 10 second cooldown. Okay. So this is a little less powerful. Again, allegedly, from what I'm hearing, this is a little less powerful than we initially thought. We thought that if this triggered on Liu Che, then all five targets hit would take the 40% increase. In other words, increasing the damage output by 40 percent however it seems like it is just increasing the amount of damage that you're dealing to a single target by 40 percent so that seems to be how this is working so just a little bit of clarification there this does mean that it is less important to have Liu Che as primary right I think a lot of people wanted Liu Che primary to really maximize the benefit of this 40 percent damage increase because there's a 80 percent chance that it will occur with Liu Che's active skill this kind of removes that strategy you don't really need to do that because I mean if you're only if it's only going to work on one target then it's a 2250 you actually would rather it work on William Wallace because his single target hit is 2400 right and so you'd rather that if it's only going to work for one target anyway you'd want it to have effect on the 2400 right I mean that's just basic math right there so that's one thing to note another thing worth noting here is that um this talent does not look like it has a cooldown so that, that could be really good but also fight or flight probably best talent in the game right now I don't think that this has it seems to be the case early reports seems to be the case that one no cooldown two does work aoe so yeah fight or flight is insane now for those of you that don't know the reason that this is so good is because rage reduction occurs after the enemy has already accumulated their maximum capped rage for the turn and so that's why this is super super insane i almost want to like literally run a silent trial with a infantry talent on this build with liu che because liu che is going to proc extra silent trials every time that this expertise goes off which is insane at least last time i checked that's how that worked and that would be another 13 rage per turn right or more that you're removing plus the 45 from this is like I mean that's an insane amount of rage reduction so yeah just a couple of quick notes there on how the you know some of those talents are working and how this third skill seems to be working from William Wallace so all in all the third skill is not as good as we thought but the talents are better than I thought I thought that there would be a cooldown here I thought that this would not work for AoE or something same thing with Thunder Smite this seems really good for the times that it does occur there's no cooldown here so yeah the talents are better than I thought the third skill is a little bit worse than I thought overall I will be using him over the next couple of days and I'll make a follow-up video letting you guys know what I actually think about William Wallace my first impressions though are that if you're running already a CPO with Liu Che 
and you don't have any sculptures then you probably don't need william wallace i think he's going to be maybe a minor upgrade for you same thing with the liu J. alex i think liu J. alex just works really well so again we'll see over the next couple of days i could be completely wrong he could be insane and break the game i don't think that'll be the case but we will see anyway guys those are my first thoughts initial impressions on william wallace and uh that's that's how many gems and sculptures it took to max him out luckily we still have quite a few legendary commander sculptures left over so we can still basically max almost two more commanders if we needed to if they randomly drop two more which is really really nice I've seen other people ask about like Gorgo and things like that Gorgo she had her moment in the field and I think that she will still continue to be good in the field if you have her but I don't really see a reason to run Gorgo at this point I think if you're going to run two infantry pairs you're probably going to do Guan Yu with CPO and then you'll do William Wallace with Liu Che uh, that's probably how I think people are going to run this I don't see a reason to bench the Guan at this point because he has the skill tree synergy and CPO is not going to take the bench for Gorgo just it's he's not so um yeah like that just seems to be how that's going to work in my opinion we'll have to wait and see again but I think that uh William Wallace is just at this point made for Liu Che I think that's the pair I don't think you have to really get too creative with it again could be wrong we'll see over the next couple of days but with that being said guys if you made it to the end of this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other Rise of Kingdoms players might see it and while you're down there comment down below your thoughts on William Wallace what do you think of him do you have any questions do you have any more clarification on how he works let me know in the comment section below while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace